hand this handle one. I got to grab two. <laughs> this here's Dale. I know that he's Grandpa Joe. And this is the first time working with me, so he's got a buddy, so we're going to call him Grandpa Jones too, and this is Chris. <laughs> so both these boys are like they're label boys, and I'm from Hastings. And we do a little poems, we do a little bit of jokes, and a little bit of anything. So, uh, since I got two girls in town here in wheelchairs, this is a kind of a little thing that I like to share with everybody. So I'll say to God's hand. Trouble erupts to the sunrise. Trials descend from the sky. Gravity borders tomorrow. Let's see. In God's hand and I. This sin damaged world keeps on struggling. Each segment of time scatters by. Uncertainly lurks around the corner. Safe in God's hand and I. Strong clouds of light keep on rolling. Praise God, I am His. Is my cry for the troubles of life or just passing? And safe in God's hands and I. And Chris is the nurse for Michelle, one of the twins. A lady about seven months PG got on a streetcar, sat down, noticing a young Marine officer. He was smiling a bunch at her. She had felt humiliated, changed her seat. And then the Marine smiled and turned it green again. She changed seats again. The grin turned into a real cackle. And again, she moved. The Marine burst out laughing. And so did the lady had the Marine arrested. At court, the Marine said, she sat under signs pertaining to her condition. First one said, the Stardust Twins are about to arrive. Second sign said, Sloan's liniment will reduce swelling. Something did the trick. They Number three, this Goodyear rubber could have prevented. They all roared and laughed and said that the court was going to let the Marine go. So, um, this is a little musical thing for y'all, if you can understand it with a southern draw. These two boys here are going to help me with this. Music of childhood. Rumbling empty tongue. Happy little tag along sisters. A guitar longing to be strung. Lying silent in a dusty case, remembering the practical scales. The haunting sounds of the mango. The attunes, the fillers. Its wide fingerboard touched no more by triple hands. The gentle folk, songs of the turtle, dumb. Longing for his lover, cooing in early morn. <laughs> Lovers strolling in Sally's garden. Irish violin still ringing. The sounds in my head. Sousa and Goldman's Mercedes. Blaring trumpets, horns with her. One pit, two pit, one rhythm. Drums with a rat a tat tat, left foot, right foot, keep in step, double time. Music of the Danube River, Vienna Woods, waltzing on the breeze, Scottish and Alpine bagpipes failing from the walls. The sounds of an ancient history, songs of David and Solomon, remembered from an old dusty Bible. The musical beauty of written words, challenging reasoning of the mind, memories, memories, along among my souvenirs. Can you voice the other one? Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Two pedals. <coughs> With a pedal bolt, you have to have balance and just. 
day. And stay and stay in sync where you'll go overboard as in marriage, friends, and life hanging on for dear life. Okay. Now this is another one, and it was written by Ashley Stevens. She's only five years old. But her mom and daddy decided not to stay together like a lot of people, and so this is what she thought. And I sang it or just do it. The Reba McIntyre still, but today we're just going to read it. Mama, still I love you, though I no longer live in your home. I still remember those nights you rocked me and sang a song. Grandma, too, said my prayers and made sure I knew you loved me so. Mama, I sing to you now as you once sang to me. Grandma even giving us an Ashley song to sing. A sweet Irish Colleen song for your very own book and also tape, bringing us even closer. But a family of love, we surely will never learn to hate. Even though many have tried to push us to the limit, you lost me, your little one. So no call of yours, I love you even if you can't rock me in your arms or read a bedtime story. Still you will always be there for me. I will not let all this hurt me. Daddy is doing what he thinks. She went to live with him. It's best even if he is wrong. We all make mistakes. I love both my parents still. They'll soon learn how to share me. The anger will be gone. They'll both realize what a treasure I am and that my lovable and sweet person can be happy in both homes. God's blessings and his love, it won't be long. Well, you know some of these guys that run around now and they look like they got their own table to eat off of. This nice big bailing, you know, that's a good excuse for it, boys. And also with us women, you know, the older you get, everything has sad. Get to your hips, that thumb go out east and west. You get to my feet, honey, and that thumb swell all over the place. So I've been proud to be here and proud for you guys to listen. Now some of this wasn't a lot of jokes. But we've had kind of a life that I wanted people to know and kind of watch out for my girls running around with wheelchairs and working at the library. And uh, you all have a fine time, and I know there's some other folks to get up here and do their music and whatnot. Next time I'm here, I'll have my guitar with me and my granddaughter. I use the guitar to hide my belly, and she's going to learn how to play it. So thanks a lot. Thanks, Bob. Love you.